Fresh Kid Z, Fresh Kid C, yes, Fresh Kid P, Fresh Kid Z. Hey everybody, uh, Agent Norf here, and today I'd like to talk to you about the controversy of War Z. And my computer's acting all up. Um, basically, what's going on right now is there's a lot of hate and bandwagons going on against War Z right now. And one of these, hold on, let me move my mic closer. One of these largest contributors is the gaming guide Kotaku. And they even labeled our site the gaming guide. Um, it started, really started with, uh, here, let me pull this up real quick. Go to search. Search War Z. It started with a lot of these posts. And keep in mind, these posts really seem to bit get more and more into detail. But, you know, I was following them for a while, and it came up to last week when they posted this. And don't get me wrong, I never really cared much for Kotaku before. It's like, if I liked the article, I liked it. If not, you know, I just closed the article. I wouldn't read it. But uh, they posted an article labeled, Maybe if the War Z is more fun if you use cheats. Who in your right mind supports hacking in a video game, labeling yourself the Gamer's Guide? You know, I understand it. But then, they, he, the guy, Luke Plunkett, he starts the article... It's inspiration and competitor, DayZ, is an exercise in tension and mood. But War Z, on the other hand, is an exercise in boredom and broken code. It's clear that he's really biased and he favors DayZ more. And that's kind of upsetting because, you know, as a gaming article company, any article writer, you really shouldn't be biased when going into a subject. And I understand War Z has had a lot of issues and bugs and whatnot. But its biggest issue was the cheating beforehand. I mean, cheaters are kind of bad in War Z right now. And they made this article supporting cheating. They made it with a friendly video of one of the cheat sites. They even added links to these cheat sites. And I remember right here, Steven Totillo, I believe he is a head like article writer or something. But he tries to defend it saying Kotaku is a news and opinion site. Much of what we publish is what we consider to be interesting news, and much of that tied to video games. Um, he claims this is news. I don't ever think supporting cheating is news. And we go into the next one, next subject, which this was posted yesterday. Last night, in fact. And this is what prompted me to make a Kotaku account. I mean, uh, yeah, this is really buggy right now. He's a new... Uh, video recording program and it reverted my color but um what basically it says is the war z servers were attacked game brought down and it's made by the same luke plunkett guy that does most of the war z articles and he starts this article with zombie survival ripoff the war z right off the back very biased same thing he did on his last article and, you know, I, I was upset by this. You know, I like the War Z. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to defend it to his dying grave. Because, like I said, there's a lot of problems. There's a lot of secrets we don't know. We're not getting anything that we're promised. But, you know, this this guy's a piece of shit. He's a piece of work. And I don't think any article writer should ever be biased when going into a subject. Like, I understand that there's this huge hate bandwagon going around for War Z right now. But, you know... At some point, you have to cut the line, and you have to be professional about a situation. You don't go in saying zombie survival ripoff of War Z. I'm sorry, Day Z was a ripoff too. Every idea of zombie apocalypse idea is a ripoff of maybe George Romero himself making the first, like, you know, old-ass movies, which, by the way, are my favorite movies, but you can't claim the zombie apocalypse an original idea anymore. There's no originality in that. I mean, when I was in high school, I had this idea long before Daisy and Warzy and any of them came out. And, you know, it, I'm seeing a trend where people are using comparisons of games to compare other games. Like, Call, Call of Duty clones, as are said, games that compare themselves to Call of Duty because they need something to compare it against rather than making its review on its own game. You know, it's ridiculous. 
I wanted to go into uh, what I uh, a lot of the replies and whatnot of what I posted, and you know, let me go back real quick because my profile doesn't mean a whole lot. Um, started with my first comment. I gotta find it. Go back two pages. Oh, on here, I uh, I was upset, and I told the guy he's a piece of shit. And you know, it spread a lot of praise to my posts and a lot of hate. And one of the biggest things I I was seeing was trolls and uh, a lot of people calling me a sock puppet, saying that I'm like one of those unbelievable supporters of the developers and whatnot. You know, I even got a really funny one here. Let me see if I can find it. Someone called me Sergey in one of my posts because of uh, some grammar mistake I had in one of my things. And it was really funny. But, you know, people are unbelievable. I don't see a lot of people thinking for themselves in these posts. This guy, you know, a lot of this ho uh, hate on my... Uh, page and you know it's it's fine i just made this kotaku account to post on this i wanted to stress how upset i was with the article writer and you know i i have a right to be upset everybody that enjoys the game or you know in anyone in the gaming community in general you don't need to support war z for this but you don't go and attack a game this much it, it just goes over the line i'm sorry i don't see a whole lot of attack on ea with their little microtransaction shit and all that, very shady, you know, marketing. But, you know, War Z is the big thing right now. Let's attack War Z. And, uh, I'm getting a lot of, uh, things being called a troll. <laughs> People are upset. Uh, I don't really know if they're upset, but, you know, I posted that this guy's a piece of shit. And he's a piece of work. You don't make articles supporting hacking. You don't make articles that this bias against gaming. English is shaky as hell. This guy has been one of the major contributors. It, it, you know, it's just brilliant. I spurred on a 120 post Kotaku thing just by posting here. That's fine. Uh, I really don't care much for Kotaku at this point. If this article was supported by the lead article writer, you know, it, it's just, it really is beyond me at this point. Um, I know a lot of people in the forums are, have mixed reviews on it. Some people say it's the truth. Some people are really, you know, iffy trying to defend it like I am. It's it's big. But I'll cut my video there, and I'll let you guys leave me some feedback on what you think. As always, comment, rate, subscribe. And I should be doing another game video tonight, and I'm going to be cutting it shorter, not a whole 15 minutes like before. Uh, thank you for watching. It's been Agent North.